Good morning, this is Bill with Severe Radar Watchers. Um, I'll do a quick update on today. I know the stream is standby going live soon, but I'm going to do a recording this morning. Um, like I said, we have some more severe weather. We've been having tornado warnings all morning. And last night, um, we'll look at how many tornadoes actually reported last night up to 7 a.m. this morning, Central Daylight Time. We're also going to look at the, uh, the outlook for today and the extra bar for pivotal weather for today also. Um, like I said, this is going to be another severe weather event that we are experiencing today into the night. Um, so it's going to be stretching from the Ohio Valley all the way down into Florida. This is where the main threats are. Um, like I said, there's a modern Valley, but let's go. Let's go look at um, the SBC right now. All right, look at the SBC right now. As you can tell, um, we have a moderate risk for the moderate risk for Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Ohio, Louisville, Kentucky, Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, and Dayton, Ohio. Um, there is a moderate risk for Indianapolis, Indiana, Nashville, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, Alabama, and Akron, Ohio. The slight risk um, is Memphis, Tennessee, Charleston, North Carolina, Cleveland, Ohio, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and Toledo, Ohio. Then we have a marginal that goes up into Baltimore, Washington, Greensboro, North Carolina, Richmond, Virginia, and Arlington, Virginia. Now let's look at the tornado risk for today. They have added a hatched 15% just now. Um, they just updated it. Let's see when they updated this. They updated this at 7.32 a.m. with a moderate risk, with the um, tornado risk right there. We see the 15% risk that's hatched, and that includes Columbus, Ohio, Cincinnati, Lexington, Kentucky, Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, Kentucky, if I get it out, and Dayton, Ohio. Um, we, and then the Sig Severe, which is, you see all this hatched area, is Indianapolis, Columbus, Nashville, Atlanta area, and Cincinnati, Ohio. Most of this area is covered. Look at Birmingham. Look at Alabama. How over half most of the state is covered, along with Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, and Ohio. So if you live in those areas, you need to be on alert today. There is a thirty percent hatched area for wind that includes Indianapolis, Columbus, Nashville, Cincinnati, Louisville. And the six severe goes for Columbus, Cincinnati, Louisville, Lexington, Fayette, and Dayton. The wind risk for the 30% wind risk goes for Indianapolis, Columbus, Nashville, Cincinnati, and Kentucky. But you also see it goes through parts of Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. Um, the 15% wind risk is Memphis, Charlotte, Cleveland, Atlanta, and Pittsburgh. And then the, uh oh, wrong button, sorry. Um, the 5%, we got Baltimore, Washington, Greensboro, and Richmond. Now let's look at the hail. We've got a hail risk in the same area, 30% hatched area, and that's going to include Indianapolis, Columbus, Cincinnati, Louisville, and Lexington, Fayette. Then we have this big 30% area that goes from Indianapolis, Columbus, Nashville, Cincinnati, Louisville, and into Tennessee, Alabama, northeastern Mississippi, and extreme northwestern Georgia. And it also goes into Virginia in a little part of southwestern Pennsylvania. And then you can see the five, 
the 15% is for Memphis, Cleveland, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, Toledo. And then you have your 5%, which is around this brown area. So let's see what the SBC actually says for today. There's a moderate risk of severe thunderstorms for parts of northern and central Kentucky, southeast Indiana, and central and southern Ohio. Um, a severe weather outbreak is possible today over the Ohio Valley with broader severe risk, including parts of the southeast. Strong, potentially long track tornadoes are possible for Indiana, Ohio, into the mid south. A threat for strong tornadoes may focus this evening into tonight across Alabama and Georgia. So right now we're having the threat in uh, the Ohio Valley. It's where the tornadoes are occurring, and I'll show you GR3 in just a second. But tonight we got to watch the, um, the southern states, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, for severe weather to come, come about during this time, during the overnight evening hours. So we're going to look at the HRRR um, through Pivotal Weather right now. This is the, the 12Z Pivotal Weather HRRR. And we're going to follow it if it does what I want to do. As you see here, we still got severe thunderstorms at 15Z. Um, let's get up closer times. And you see, we still have severe weather going on around lunchtime in these areas. Um, the front is right here we're looking at. This is the frontal system, the cold front. As you see way how this is forming, a uh, QLCS line. And this is at 18Z, which is 12, 11 o'clock Central Daylight Time, 12 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. And this slowly starts progressing into a larger QLCS, which so that let's go to you can see here the cold front is basically from Kentucky down into Tennessee, Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi. It's just starting to enter Alabama. <clears throat> it's in central Tennessee, almost central Tennessee. It's in central central um, Mississippi. And look at it. It's starting to blow up around 21Z. That is 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time. As we move across, we're going to look at This is around 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Like I said, this is the 12Z HRRR. This is 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Look at how this QLCS is forming. And embedded in this is going to be some supercells that have the potential to have the updraft, the helicity, and everything to produce large hail, damaging winds. This is where your damaging winds are more likely going to occur along the frontal boundary, frontal of this QLCS and this little outflow, outflow boundary that's occurring right there. <clears throat> but embedded in these is going to be, some, going to be severe storms. Um, uh oh, wrong button. I'm going to try to get a little bit bigger real quick so you can see it while I'm, while I'm showing you. So bear with me. Okay, how's that look? That should be a little bit better. All right, let me lock it so I don't lose it. Uh-oh. Lock it. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I want to bring it a little bit better so you can see it. But like I said, this could be a nocturnal thing. This is 7 p.m. Yeah, there's still daylight out there but as we go out through the night look at it it starts breaking apart a little bit but as it starts to enter georgia but it's there and i'm gonna pull up alabama alabama and georgia to show you that real quick because that's where another major threat is occurring for the overnight hours 
let's go to local Mississippi and Alabama. Uh oh, wrong thing. You see here, this is a sounding I just accidentally pressed. And you can see there's a little bit of cap inversion there. You got a little bit of cape there, but the cape goes all the way up. You got a, so you got a tornado, possible hazard of a tornado in this area. I don't know where I clicked. Um, <coughs> this is 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This showing. Uh, this is 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. You notice it's starting to fire up again just south of Birmingham. Let's look at this sounding. Marginal tornado. You see the at this point about 900 millibars the dew point is actually more than the green line is your dew point the red is your temperature you see the temperature drops just a little and then your dew point starts to decrease some as your temperature rises throughout the atmosphere so let's look at 10 p.m still we've got some major supercells embedded in this area just east of Birmingham and you look at this line look how sh straight it is that's where your major wind will probably come from thunderstorm damaging winds and once it crosses into Georgia we'll swap over to Georgia South Carolina but look at this it started to break apart here at 11 p.m. but Georgia is firing up so let's look at Georgia real quick I'm trying to keep this quick look at 11 p.m. Georgia in Georgia we have severe we have major thunder we sorry about my dogs barking they don't know how to shut up hold on one second sorry about that I had to tell my dog to shut up um look at the thunderstorm the thunderstorm stop it starting to pop up around the metro area as this comes in and this will be updated these are super possible supercells in the area along the cold front that's moving through and like i said it continues throughout the night and it's going to be it looks appear looks like it's breaking apart once it enters South Carolina, Columbia area, Augusta, um, along the interstate here between Charleston and Columbia. But now let's look at GR three currently. Swap over GR three, and we still have tornado warnings here for. I can't see the word. Sandy Hook, um, and I think that's West Liberty. It's not showing up real good here. But look at that. That's thunderstorm damaging winds along this. We do have a tornado watch also till 12 p.m. But along this line, you would have some damaging thunderstorm winds because how it's pushing through it. Um, let's look at the base velocity at 0.5 tilt and you can see red reds away from the radar green is towards the radar and you can see how that moves how that is straight line winds at this moment we do have a meso vortex possibly right here <coughs> we'll look at storm relative there's some embedded definitely embedded um gusty winds you see the blue here um and like i said there's some thunderstorm winds and we got a tvs marker up here tvs of five just northeast of olive hill in grayson i'm going to go back to base for base reflectivity that's really the only tornado warnings we have at this time. We got lots of severe thunderstorm warnings, but that's the only tornado warnings we have at this time. But like I said, 
we need to be on um, severe weather alert today due to the due to this right here move that back over so you can see it might be able to get it up bigger all right There we go. Like I said, we've got this monitor risk, and they're going to be updating this throughout the day. They've already said um, the risk for tornadoes for South for Georgia is during the evening and overnight. The risk for tornadoes, including a few strong tornadoes, will be possible during this activity. Eventually, reaching the Carolinas in the eastern part of Panhandle Lake. Let me see here where they said it. I can't find it right now. But there is a possibility that they might increase this the risk for today. We've just got to see what they say and everything. But like I said, we need to be on alert today. Have multiple ways of getting your alerts. <clears throat> Follow your local TV meteorologist on Twitter X. Set the bell so you know you get that alert. On Facebook, follow your local meteorologist. Watch them on Facebook Live. They may have an extra meteorologist on duty tonight in the studio just doing nothing but Facebook Live and posting to Twitter. They call them a, at that moment a social, meteor, social media meteorologist. There will also be, you get your weather radio. That is important to have weather radio. That will go off when you have severe weather in your area. Wireless weather alerts on your phone. Have them turned on. Don't go to bed tonight without having them turned on and turned up. You could mute your, new, uh, your other notifications, such as your email, your texts, your calls, but don't mute those. Keep those on. Have your family and friends. If you get a tornado warning and you don't think they got it, text them, call them, wake them up. Make sure they know what's going on for the night, going on in their area. Another thing most people don't think about this is if you got Amazon Alexa in your house, Alexa you will alert you for severe weather events. Also, your ring doorbell camera will alert you for severe weather events, such as a severe thunderstorm warning or possibly a tornado warning. In my area, I hadn't had a tornado warning, so I don't know if it'll alert for that, but I do know it will alert for severe thunderstorm warning. You got multiple, just like have multiple ways of getting these alerts. Don't depend on outdoor sirens. Even if you live close to them, you may not hear them when you're sound asleep. Outdoor sirens are develop, designed to alert you outdoors. Even if you hear them. But when you hear them, get up, have your safe, go to your safe place, and be ready for anything. I'm trying to think what else I need to say to stress this. This is a stressful. And I'm not one to hype this, this these situations. I don't get into the hype, the clickbait, or anything like that. I just want you to know what we can be seeing tonight in these areas. This afternoon, tonight, and we have ongoing tornadoes at this moment. Tornado warning, um, tornado watch until 12 p.m. East um, Central Daylight Time for the Ohio Valley. Um, in the Ohio Valley, there will be more watches coming throughout the day in the evening and overnight as the SPC sees that they're needed. So be safe out there. Understand what's going on. Like, subscribe, follow us. Um, if you follow us on Facebook, I'm probably going to be out chasing tonight in, from Alabama into Georgia. 
that's my local area um but from everyone here at severe radar watchers stay weather aware stay safe get those alerts ready be prepared have your safety plan in place and be ready to act if needed y'all have a good evening good good day and god bless